One ugly day, Thomas was pulling into Natford Station with his coaches, and he was tired, I guess, whatever, when Birdie skirted up. What's up, boy? You want to race again? I know I can beat you, because, because you suck, and also I'm just a boss, so you're a piece of shit, so you're already tired. That's how pathetic you are. You're so tired. So anyways, bye. I, I'm not in the mood for any bullshit. But just then, the flying, uh, famous engine pulled into the station. Uh, yo, what's up? Huh, I guess I was just so famous that he couldn't handle it. Oh well. As Scotsman was thundering down the line, he saw Gordon at the lumber mill. Uh, what's up, you little loser, you little brother, you little, little builder from another, I don't know where I'm going with this joke. Oh god, can you like not today? I'm in the middle of a redesign. What, what do you mean by redesign? You look exactly the same. Uh, look behind me. Authorize this? Who, who who allowed this illegal behavior? Uh, because you have two tenders, and for some reason I don't. So I just thought, uh, I think I'll be better with two tenders. Well, dude, I have two tenders for a reason. One is for coal, and the other is for water. That's because I go on long journeys. You only go on short journeys. Also, I pull more coaches than you. This is only three, which is the normal amount. But uh. Uh, I would pull more if I had more coaches. That's right, Mr. Cameraman, get more coaches. Uh, anyways, uh, a noisy argument started between the two guys when the fat man walked over. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for this today. So, uh, anyways, long story short, I'm better, uh, and I have two tenors for a reason. You just look freaking stupid. And now I'm gonna go finish my job. This dude thinks he's better than me. Well, that might be true, but I don't care. I have another tender. I I have another tender, so now I'm going to show how much of a useful boy I am. Let's go. Gordon, I'm going to need you to pull a goods train. <sighs> Fuck it. You know what? Since my brother has the this, I'll shoot I'll make myself useful. Soon, Gordon, with his second tender, got his goods train on when James puffed into Netford Station with his branch line coaches. Yo, what's up, my boy? Uh, why the fuck do you have two tenders? Uh, because my dumbass brother, Scotsman, over there, since he has two, and he's somehow better than me and always bragging, I thought, why not get another tender? So now I have double the coal, which means I'm double the useful factor. Dude. Dude, you look fucking stupid. Dude, you look so dumb. You're even dumber than when I was black. No racist jokes, please. Besides, isn't another tender gonna be another load for you? I mean, with the coal filled up in both, that's probably gonna not be helpful on hills, right? Especially the Bay Bridge. Did I ask for your opinion on Twitter.com? No. Damn straight. Well, all I gotta say now is that you're fucking dumb, and uh, don't cry into me when you crash. Get another engine. Get the breakdown crane. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, let's go. Choo choo. Uh, guard blues whistle or whatever. Let's go. Gordon was making great time. Soon he got to the Sodor Bay Bridge. Oh, this will be a piece of cake. The fuck? Eh. Oh no. But then Gordon heard a whistle. It was Percy with the mail. But luckily. He was smart and stopped just in time. But then, duck came. Quack, 
quack, quack. Then the flying stuntman was on a different track and he came across the wreckage. What happened here? And then he saw Gordon. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, that, that explains it. Okay, I'll get the breakdown train. Scotsman arrived back at the breakdown train. But we don't got time to show little bits of it, so we're just going to come back to this. And we're back. Scotsman had brought all the engines and unhurt trucks back on the track. Well, except for the extra tender. This serves you right for thinking that you will be as useful just because you look like me. <sighs> I'm sorry, blah blah blah, moral, moral, whatever, we're gonna shove it down your throat. Now, let's just finish this day. Gordon puffed away. And Scotsman went back to the mainland. And Percy just did his own thing. We all know he's a good guy. Fuck you. And they all lived happily ever after. More and more people traveled on the Fat Controller's Railway. Everyone had to work very hard indeed. The trucks complained bitterly, but then trucks always did. And no one took much notice. Dirty trucks, dirty sidings, blech, put in James. That's enough complaining, said the fat controller. You'll be pleased to know that a new goods engine will be arriving from Scotland tomorrow. The fat controller stared. Did you say... Two engines, Inspector. Yes, sir, he said. Then send the other one back at once. I can't, sir. The two engines look exactly alike and have no numbers. They said they lost theirs on the way. The fat controller seized his hat. We'll soon settle that nonsense. The two engines greeted him cheerfully. I hear you have lost your numbers. They may have slightly slipped off, sir. You know how it is, the engines said in chorus. And what are your names? Donald and Douglas, sir. Alright, so then your new controller can tell me who is who. He doesn't know our names, sir. We have given each other the names when our numbers came off. One of you, said the fat controller, is playing truant. I shall find out who it is and send him packing. Inspector, give these engines numbers and put them to work. Soon workmen came to give the engines numbers. Donald 9 and Douglas 10. Now 9 and 10, smiled the inspector. Here is Duck. He'll show you around before you start work. The twins enjoyed themselves and soon became friends with Duck. We like it fine here, said Donald. That's good, smiled Duck. But take my advice. Watch out for Gordon, Henry, and James. They're sure to try some nonsense. Then fetch yourself, said Donald. We'll soon settle them. Donald and Douglas had deep-toned whistles. They sound like buses, said Gordon. Or ships, laughed Henry. Tugboat Annie, ha ha ha. Donald and Douglas slowly crawled up. You wouldn't be making fun of us, are you? Gordon and Henry jumped. Oh, uh, no, 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 we're not. That's fine, smiled Douglas. Now mind the both of you and keep it that way. That was the way they kept it. Every day, punctually at half past three, Gordon steams in with the express. There was also a special coach for passengers traveling to places on Thomas's branch line. Thomas was very proud of his special coach. One afternoon, Douglas was helping Duck in the yards, while Donald was waiting to take a goods train to the other end of the line. As Duck was arranging Donald's trucks, Douglas offered to take away Gordon's coaches. As Douglas was going to rearrange the coaches, an awful thought struck him. I hope the fat controller doesn't know that I shouldn't have been here. I couldn't abide going back. He worried about this so much that he had forgotten all about Thomas' special coach. He pushed it with the others into the carriage siding, and then puffed off to meet Donald at the water column. Soon, Thomas came fussing. Where's my coach? Coach? 
What coach? My special coach that Gordon always brings me. It's gone. I must find it. And you're here now. Blow sick, cried Douglas. I must have stored the coach away with the others. A mob of angry passengers erupted from the siding. Now listen, we'll change standards and try to avoid trouble, said Douglas's driver. So Donald with Douglas's tender set off from the yard with the goods trip, while Douglas and his crew remained with innocent expressions. Ah, number nine, said the fat controller, and why haven't you taken the goods? My tender is all right, sir. The driver showed him the tender still uncoupled. I see, called the fat controller. He turned back to the mob of passengers. Please accept my apologies for what has happened. I shall investigate the matter at once. Good day, everyone. The fat controller watched as the remaining passengers walked up the station ramp. And then he swung around back to Douglas. Douglas, why are you masquerading with Donald's tender? 